Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Um, y feliz, what is today? Monday. <laughs> feliz lunes. Oh my goodness, how did the weekend go by so fast? I have no idea, but here it is. It's Monday. Hoy estoy trabajando desde mi casa. Um, it's really rainy and cold outside. As you can tell, my attire, I'm comfortable today. Didn't feel like doing my hair, so I have my scarf. <laughs> so I hope that's evidence to y'all that I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm only here to hopefully motivate other people to learn a language, to learn about other, other cultures um, and stuff like that. So that's the reason for me making these videos. I hope that some of you all are feeling a little bit motivated a little bit more interested into learning more about what is outside of the borders of the United States so that we can start learning about other cultures, learning about different languages y cosas así. En este video, voy a hablar un poco sobre de inglés porque muchas personas siempre me preguntan cosas como, Jasmine, ¿por qué es... Uh, el idioma en los Estados Unidos complicado. El inglés es muy complicado uh, porque la manera en que hablan allá es muy, diferent, muy diferente que la manera en que hablan en Canadá, en, en Great Britain, en um, otros países también. ¿Por qué es eso? ¿Por qué es el inglés en los Estados Unidos complicado y difícil, difícil, no tiene sentido. La gramática no tiene sentido. La um, pronunciación no tiene sentido. ¿Por qué es eso? Y siempre les respondió, no sé. No sé, no hay una razón. Uh, solamente es la manera en que hablamos aquí en los Estados Unidos. No, no hay una razón por eso. <laughs> Pero la verdad es que no es, no es verdad. That's not true. And the thing is, I never realized that because I only speak the language. I've never realized how complicated English was until I started trying to teach others how to speak English here in the United States. And I realized, oh my gosh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> But why is it? Why is it that we speak the way we do? So I decided to dig a little deeper because I got tired of telling people, oh, that's just how we talk here. There, there's no reason behind it. Because the truth is, there is a reason behind it. So I started doing some digging. And it's funny because um, siempre estoy hablando con mi amiga Margarita de Nueva York. Um, I'm always talking with my friend from New York. She is learning Spanish. Um, Margarita, I'm always talking about her because we talk like almost every single day. <laughs> but she she says the same, the same thing. She'll message me and she'll say, oh my gosh, Jasmine. And I'm like, what? She's like, okay, somebody just asked me a question and I don't know how to explain it to them. Like, why is it that we pronounce this word this way if it looks a different way? Like, why is it that we pronounce it like that? Or why is it that um, we say stuff like, I need to take a shower. Literally, that doesn't make sense. Where are we taking it to? <laughs> Where are we taking it to? Yes, we need to wash ourselves. Necesitamos bañarme and y cosas así, but it doesn't make sense to say, I need to go take a shower. Or it doesn't make sense to say, I am 30 years old, which still sounds weird saying, but I'm 30 years old, <laughs> you know? You can't be an age, you have an age, which is why in Spanish they say, tengo, tengo 30 años, tengo 25 años. It doesn't make sense to them to say, soy 30 años, because you can't be an age. So why is it that our English here is so jacked up? <laughs> so I started doing some research and I thought that it was very interesting. And lo siento uh, por mis amigas que están aquí aprendiendo inglés. No pueden entender inglés porque en este video voy a hablar solamente en inglés porque la información es algo muy, muy, muy interesante. Quiero compartir um, la información con mis amigas aquí 
en los Estados Unidos porque muchas personas no saben esta información. Así que espero que usan este tiempo para practicar tu inglés, para escuchar a mi acento y para aprender más palabras también. So, I was reading something, right? And I'm just going to read it verbatim and make it really fast. So, this video isn't like 20 minutes long. But it says, English. What is English? English is from Great Britain. Clearly, we don't speak the same way they speak in Great Britain. Right? Like the Queen and all that. We don't speak like that. But why is that? Why is it that? English is from Great Britain, but we don't speak English. Um, it says this question actually came about in around 1720 um, by the colonists here in the United States. Back when colonization happened, we had all the all of our immigrants coming in from different countries, um, from different places, and then somebody a light bulb came up and they said, "Why is it that we speak English, but our English is different from our motherland?" which wasn't my motherland at the time, because according to my ancestry DNA, um, my motherland was in Nigeria. <laughs> so not my motherland, but their motherland during that time, which was, you know, Great Britain and wherever it was that English originated from. Why was it different? And then it was, it was realized at that time, it was for many reasons. But the main reason, the number one reason was because many words were borrowed from the Native Americans as well as other immigrants, such as immigrants from France and Germany and Spain and other countries. Um, and then around 1756, the first official reference to our language here in the United States was referred to the American dialect by someone named Samuel Johnson. And then about a year after that, he published his dictionary. And um, he used the term, it's funny, he used the term American dialect not as a way to explain the difference between our dialect here and our dialect in Great Britain, but he used the term American dialect as an insult to us because our English technically was not really English. <laughs> it, was, it was English, but it was a jacked up version of English. Um, so it's funny because the English, the actual English, they laughed at us and they still do laugh at us today um, because um, it's not English. Um, and they refer to our English, um, our language here, as using Americanisms versus speaking English, which is very question, which which is very interesting. Which brings up the question: Do we really speak English here <laughs> when we're using words borrowed from different countries and stuff like that? Like, are we really using English? And with that being said, how do we have the nerves to tell people here to speak English? when basically we're not speaking English, which brings up another question as to how do we have the nerves to tell people to speak American when the American dialect was based upon Spanish, was based upon Greece and Latin and German and Chinese, words like tea and typhoon, Chinese words, words like um, alibi, I item, veto, oh, my favorite, bonus, I love using the word bonus, Thank you, Latin, for that, because if it wasn't for the Latin language, we wouldn't have that word bonus. <laughs> Words like alcohol and sugar and syrup and zero were Arabic. And you can Google this information and find some credible resources and find a whole list of words that we use. A majority of our language is from other countries, which is why I made a post a while back that said there's really no such thing as speaking American, because American is made up of different languages from different countries. So it's just one of those things. And ever since I've learned that, I found a whole new respect for people coming over here and learning our language because it's not easy at all. Um, and it's not easy. And you don't realize how hard it is until you have to explain to them why we say though, through, cough, rough, plow, and ot. They all look identical, but yet, they're all pronounced so different, <laughs> you know. English is the only language that isn't 100% phonic, which means it's not pronounced the way it looks. Muy complicado. Así que necesitamos tener paciencia cuando están hablando con las personas que están aprendiendo inglés porque no es fácil. Y por mis amigas 
que están aprendiendo inglés pero viven aquí en los Estados Unidos, no tengan temor para hablar en tu idioma porque si no por español, si no por otros idiomas, no hay un idioma aquí en los Estados Unidos. Así que I hope that you all learned something interesting. Um, like I said, I just wanted to share that because that's stuff that I learned that I never realized until now <laughs> since I started learning Spanish. And I hope that some of my videos have been motivating you all to dig a little deeper and attempt at least to try to find out about other languages, if not Spanish, some other language. Um, but I hope you all have a wonderful week and hasta luego.